hello everyone so in the similar manner I am going to write some more test method but this time I am going to use a get endpoint in which we supply the ID so this particular endpoint will do the searching inside the container based on the ID supplied so here I will add one more test method that is public void test get with ID at the rate test annotation with this method and again I am going to update our scenario so given accept the content in, in JSON format when I perform the get request with so let me open the postman and, and call this particular endpoint which will list down all the detail present inside our laptop back container so let's say we want to do the searching based on the IDS 203 so 203 then for the validation part status code 200 ok should be return similarly I will write one more test method for the negative scenario so public void test get with non existing ID so in this I'm going to supply the ID which is not present inside the container so at the rate test so this will be the same scenario and I'm going to supply the ID as let's say one to one which is not there in this case we should get 400 not found as a status code sorry 404 not found at the status code so here again given accept the content type as json after that we will use the when method and then we'll perform the get request so new uri and here i need to supply the endpoint url which is this in our case so instead of id i'm going to supply 203 here and after that we need to assert for the status code so then after that assert that and the status code so status code http status dot hc underscore ok so if i go inside this interface so as you can see here this is the static int sc underscore ok and whose value is 200 so i'm using the same over here and as we know that this is going to throw us the checked exception so we need to use the throws keyword so similarly i'm going to copy the same piece of code over here and paste it here so throws keyword and this time the id which i'm going to supply is one to one so we should get the status code as 404 not found and I'm going to run this test class so as you can see here all the test method are getting passed okay but if you observe the test method closely you can see here we are passing the endpoint URL and the endpoint URL is almost same for all the HTTP method except when we are calling for the specific HTTP method type that means if you look at the api documentation till this point till the api the endpoint url is same for all the method after that only the path is changing based on the type of method we are calling so we have add for post we have delete for deleting and so on so rest assure provides certain variable by which you can set up the environment 
in that case you don't need to repeatedly supply the path which is common to the endpoint so inside the api documentation of rest assured as you can see here there are static variable such as base path base uri and port so using this variable you can set up the environment and initialize this variable with the predefined set of value that are the common part present inside your endpoint so let's say I copy this URL the and the second URL which is this one okay so in this case till this point both the URL are common and they are differing only when we are calling the specific HTTP method okay so if I want to use the environment variable provided by the rest assured we can divide this URL in the following points so the variable which we have is a base path base URI and port so base URI will be this part base path will be the common part of our endpoint and port is 8080 okay so here inside our package i will create a base class and inside this class i'm going to initialize our static variable provided by the rest of shore so we can set up the environment so base class inside this i will add a static method void setup okay and i'm going to put the annotation before class with this method so as you can see here from the name you can understand the before class that means this will be the first method which will get executed as soon as this class get loaded inside the memory that means if our test class is inheriting from the base class then in that case this will be the first method which will get executed hence the annotation before class is given all in simple words i can say that this is the first method which is going to execute as soon as the class is loaded inside the memory even before the any test method okay so first of all i will do a static import because most of our variable are static so io dot rest assured dot rest assured dot strict so the first one is the base uri which is this part then port is 8080 and the base path so base path is this common path so this setups our base class and in order to use this environment variable in our test class all we need to do is to extend this class from the base class okay so now instead of writing this entire url you can just provide the context path which is specific to the method so i can easily remove this part from here and supply only this information okay so here i am supplying along with this slash because in the base path i am keeping the slash at the end here now in order to make sure that the things are properly initialized i will use sysio here to print the values so we have a base uri plus port then we have a base path and i'm going to put a debug point over here and run this script in a debug mode so as you can see here it has 
initialize the required variable which is provided by the rest Azure framework now this variable will set up the environment for us so whenever we make a get call to the uri it is going to append this path with the existing path which is set up in the before class method So as you can see here, all our JUnit tests are getting passed. Okay. Although you can still use the old approach that is by specifying the entire endpoint URL. Okay. But as you can see here in our API documentation of the war file, almost all the URL are same except when the context path which is specific to the HTTP method. So we can use this sort of environment setup in order to avoid the repetitive calling of the common endpoint so let me so instead of using then here i will try to print the body which i am getting as a response so dot as we know that i can use as string a method directly or i can still use the then return in order to capture the response then return dot body dot as string okay so this i'm going to store inside a variable string body here and put a breakpoint here so before putting the breakpoint let me put a sysio and breakpoint over here so at this point still i can use the method as string directly or i can use in this manner also so these are like two different approach of printing the response of the require request so again i will run this script in debug mode so as you can see here we are getting the required information okay so in this manner you can use the static variable provided by the rest of your framework to set up your own environment